We are live, everybody. Hello. I'm just going to tweet out the stream real quick. I don't know why I always say tweet out the stream. I don't tweet it. I just share it in the server. Bruh. Took me long enough to tweet out a damn a link. God damn. Alright, let me know if you can hear me and, uh, and make sure everything's good. We'll wait a few minutes here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me know if you can hear me. Playing first. Nice to see you, buddy. Let's go. Yes, sir. All right. Let me know if you can hear me, and then I'll get started. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So, first things first. Obviously, we got to... We got to look at our sponsors for today. So, bottom left, TCS Network. That's me. Uh, a new sponsor is Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. Uh, for barbecue, that's good as gold. Um, obviously, game day on your screen right now. We'll see that a little later. South Carolina and East Carolina. Um, best damn barbecue sauce I've ever eaten. So, um, I also didn't get any more submissions for ads to this week so we're going with the age-old fire jay jettas and then we're gonna give um air force some love give giving them a, from some free ad space here um yeah we're just gonna wait a few more minutes um i don't know about a few more minutes but yeah you got absolutely destroyed by new mexico that, that's a tough that's a tough one the thing about it is it's so hard to be good like I've been at ECU this is my fifth year and it is been rough most of the time so but yeah I do think you're going 0 and 12 all right so we're gonna start off with uh, Louisiana in Louisiana Tech, a bitter rival, bitter rivalry. Um, let's get into it. I already changed quarter lengths and everything, so we are good to go. Coach McNasty, I ran the ball. Yes, you did, and you won. Wise draft, not a horse. Toledo. Fuck. Alright, let's get right into this. Louisiana is at home. We'll see if we have any uh, Darren Williams sightings. I'm not too hopeful, but, you know, we'll see. So, if either of these coaches are in stream, which I highly doubt they are, uh, let me know if you want to receive or kick. All right, doesn't matter. All right. So first Bear Cave game for anybody who's new. Bear Cave, we sim until the end and see if it's close, and then we'll watch. 
early. Louisiana gets on the board. Now, remember, Louisiana lost their starting quarterback for the next, I believe, eight weeks. So they're going to be heavy Night Air Finley. And 21, eh? They're up three scores without a quarterback. Ooh, they add one. A fumble recovered in the end zone as the time expires, it looks like. All right, third quarter. They get a quick... Yeah, this one is over. My God, Louisiana, after beating Illinois last week, all of a sudden look like who, who we thought they were at the beginning of the season. What a win for Louisiana. That's the team we thought was going to uh, to show up this season. That's crazy. All right. So the backup, Reggie Fullman, at 69 overall. Oh, my God, he has – he's insane. Nider Finley in – Great job. And then Derrick Williams, did he do anything for tackles? Yes, he got a pick. Let's go. A monster. All right. See you. Man, I just tested Memphis. The exact cross is on here, and we won Natty in a full sim. No touch. Year two. Okay, buddy. Yeah, Raging Cajuns going crazy. How do you win games? Um, basically, recruiting in Discord over the course of a lot of years. Like my first three years at ECU, I went five and six, or six and six and six, and seven and six. So it was not easy. Um, I got kind of lucky and built an insane offense. And then mixed with the in-game recruiting, uh, this is kind of like my uh, my all-or-nothing year. Um, Toledo, kind of the same deal. It's just you got to recruit players over the course um, of a long time and get a little bit of luck for us uh, lower-ranked teams. Just getting the player of the week here. All right, perfect. All right, next we got FIU and Troy, two teams. Dude, I, I don't know if you guys saw, but USF beat um beat Arizona so the Sun Belt might actually be crazy good and these are two teams who have been crazy good all season so that's why I put it on Bear Cave let's go Troy let's see what they do here I'm going in order buddy I'm not gonna just do Toledo and dip like the FIU jerseys. Yeah, I don't really want to lose FIU by upgrading revamped. Yeah, I'm with Ron on this one. I don't think there's a reason to even watch it for Giraffe. I don't think he wants to get his feelings hurt. And nothing here in the first quarter. Okay, Troy puts up a toddy. Oh, Florida International responds. A low scoring game here. Oh, Florida. Nice. All right. Got a little back and forth game brewing. Florida International taking the lead. I thought Troy was going to be really good this season. And look what we got. We got a close game. Let's see how this plays out. And. All right. I guess we just got a sim place one at a time here. Let's keep simming. All right, we're at two minutes. Let's see who can win this game. Troy does have the ball. Yeah, there's always some weird errors about uh, who has helmets and who doesn't. Now, for those of you guys who do not know, um, Florida International actually has a playoff appearance in the SFA in Season 6, and Troy was really good as well, and I believe it was Season 5. So these are two teams that have had success 
So this isn't like randomly out of the blue that they're good. Oh dear God, Gunner Watson, what are you doing? That was a terrible throw, and they're punting it. Florida International now will have a chance. Now, I know Florida International has a really good uh, running back who who got injured as well, so they're, uh, they're not playing with their best players either. All right, who will win? I'm hoping this game doesn't go crazy because... We have a lot of games to get to. <laughs> Spencer Rattler name change. See, there's a nice throw. That's what we came to the Sun Belt for. Who is that? Hayden Carlson. 19 of 44. Not ideal. This guy named Del Pettis. All right, nice seven foot drop, and he gets absolutely destroyed. Luis Medina with his first sack of the game. Now it's a long ass second down. And he's taken off this time. He's going to get it all back and a lot more. He might even get the first down, and he does. Wow. Complete breakdown there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. If the worst thing it will do is it like turns it to stars if you say fuck. I'm not sure though. You can try it out. Um, yeah, there you go. If any of you guys, if guys get a little rowdy, I do have mods, so. Fuck, 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 yep. FIU, will they settle for a field goal? They hit off up the middle, Troy can't stop anything. And they're running out the clock here. Are we sure that they can hit from the 20 yard line? According to Dogwater, they cannot. Draft's calling an interception. Dude, they just ran out the entire clock. What are we watching? They don't want to kick it. Are you serious? They just run out the entire thing and go to overtime. I can't with this game. Dude, imagine that shit happens in like <laughs> in like the championship, dude. Like I don't even know what to do at that point. God, that's just annoying. Well, we got overtime here. Anyone who said, God, I don't want to watch FIU versus Troy, well, buckle up. Can we skip this game? See, Dogwater said it, a typical SEC lover. This is a this should have been the sicko game of the week. This is rough to watch. Kind of like watching Miami Ohio uh, put up 55 on Ole Miss. Boom up the middle. There we go. Ayo, hey Nick, what's up? That makes it first and goal. We had another uh, kicker fuck up. Come on, FIU. All right, running up the middle. Oh, he gets stood the fuck up. Knees touch, no touchdown. You are making the horse angry. Draft is always angry. He's going to run again. He breaks one. And he gets nothing. Third and goal. Can FIU convert? That makes it third and goal. Okay, Dogwater. That's a little... That hits a little too hard. Oh, dear God. What am I watching? Loss of four. 
And this guy's incapable of throwing the ball. He just tucks it and runs into his own men. Now they're forced to use the kicker. Let's see if he can hit it. If he misses it, then, then I understand. And he hits it. You could have won the game doing that. But instead... God, dude, look at Johnny Manziel, how bad he is. 9 for 20, 97 yards. Like, what the fuck? God. Nebraska is so shit in our in the SFA. The, te the Texas Tech Temple game was really good. O OT. That Notre Dame game, we don't know if that's true yet or not. And North Carolina did beat Clemson. By a lot. Blue Blood Nebraska, yep. This sad belt. Did I use it right? Alright, Troy. Touchdown wins you the game. And you get sacked. Fucking hell. The question is, is Troy in field goal range right now? I don't think they are. This would be a 47-yarder. And he throws an interception, and that's going to do it. FIU, and they want more points. Come on, score. Pick six. Yes, yes, FIU. Pick six to end the game and win by nine in OT. Let's fucking go. I love when that shit happens. Stick it to your conference foe and get a pick six. That See, that's worth watching. Hayden Carlson somehow gets player of the game. See, that that was worth not kicking the game-winning field goal just to rub it in with a pick six. Fuck the Trojans. Yes, sir. What a game for the FIU Panthers. And they go to 4-0. Oh. <laughs> that definitely should have been... Uh, that definitely should have been the sicko game of the week. Man, dude, this man thinks it's time for Toledo. Yikes, it's time for actually Minnesota and Penn State. Yes, sir. Some Midwest teams who actually know how to play football. Damn it, I missed the player of the game. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, Jay Jettas or Dave, if you are in here, tell me what you would like to pick on the coin toss. And goddamn, Jay Jettas is ranked higher, but definitely an underdog here. Yeah, dude, if you're not rooting for Minnesota. Yeah, that's the name of one of our users. That's the coach of Minnesota. And we are in the rain here. Because why not? This could have been a good game day if both teams are ranked. I love playing games at Penn State. Because Beaver Stadium is just... its almost I think it's always a whiteout in this game. We are Penn State. Alright. All right, let's see what happens. Can Minnesota stay undefeated? Okay. Well, three points there. Minnesota gets on the board. Penn State responds. A true Big Ten game. Only 17 points in the first half. We got a long-ass drive alert. And that's going to be three for Penn State. Oh, 16. Oh, boy. It's starting to get to crunch time for Minnesota. Come on, Minnesota. There you go. They respond. Beautiful. Touchdown for Potts. Now I'm just going to go one play at a time. We got two users. Can they stop them? No, that is going to be... Kind of a ball buster touchdown. So, we got a... Oh, my God. 
Can Minnesota respond quickly? Since it's over two scores, I can't watch it, so... It's against the rules. They add a touchdown! Wow, they scored it. It was a three-yard rush by Moore. And they add that. Okay, we'll send the kickoff. Onside kick recovered by Penn State. All right, three timeouts. Time to watch. Yeah, no. I can't take over, unfortunately. One first down, wins the game. They're running the option. God, dude, why are you running the option when all you need is a touchdown? There's Shaquan Bowser, the... He is a uh, freshman. He's a five-star freshman. Nine tackles. Come on. One stop. Running it up the middle. Oh, that is not the best. Six-yard rush. Is Jay Jettas going to get the ball back? Please throw the ball and throw a pick. A touchdown wins it for Coach Dave. Can he do it? Or sorry, a first down wins it. He's dropping back to pass. A free rusher and it converts. What a first down. Penn State nuts up and kills Jay Jetta's hopes at a perfect season. And they're pass it again. A five yard rush. Somehow it's fourth in inches now. Okay, I guess we got to watch it. So... Apparently, somehow, instead of just kneeling it, Penn State is kicking a field goal. Here we go. And they're running out the clock. They're going to... Uh... <laughs> Wait, is this going to get the cover? There's no chance this gets the cover, does it? Oh my god, this is... They're not going to get the cover. Nope. They're still down by five. But four seconds left for Jay Jettas. Hey, a pretty good line I set, though, to be fair. Are they going to return it? They are. This looks to be the final play of the game. Oh, God, that's got scary for a second. And Minnesota goes down. And Dave gets another victory. Yeah, I set you don't if you don't know, I set the um the spreads for Bear Cave. Is that yeah. Um, but a Minnesota loss, that one hurts. But the next game I'm very excited for because I want to watch some Flexbone. Why does everybody hate SFA Live? Wait, who is SFA Live anyways? That's the name of the, the it's the name of the channel. Alright, giraffe. Don't be so good and be on the shit side of Bear Cave. You know the left-hand side is for the trash games, right? The right-hand side are the big games. Don't be so good next time. Boykin with another player of the week, but this time he has an L next to it. PST, player of the week. Alright. And now it is time for Georgia Tech's debut. Um, if you're in here, Mike, let me know if you want to kick or receive if you win the toss. Let's see how lopsided this game is. Heads plus receive coming up. Okay. So this is a three and a half point favorite for Syracuse on the road. No love for Syracuse. Now, this is where we get to see if, uh, if Mike uh, knows what he's talking about with these playbooks or if he's just trash. Tails, and he wants to receive. <laughs> All right. First quarter. 
And a touchdown. Oh, quick quick response, though, from Syracuse. Second quarter, a touchdown for Georgia Tech. A touchdown for Georgia Tech. Oh, my God, Syracuse responds. A touchdown for Georgia Tech before the half. Oh, baby. Syracuse, can they come out and respond? They had a field goal. Oh, boy. Still up by 14. Can Georgia Tech do the unthinkable? Are they really this good? Syracuse adds a touchdown. It's within one score now. Fourth and seven. They're going to kick it off. And Syracuse, can they win this game or respond? This is going to be a chond by Georgia Tech. Dexter McCluster is in. So Silas Red might have gone out with an injury. This is the true freshman Bear Cave reward. Dexter McCluster is in the backfield. No Silas Red. And that is dropped. Wilkinson today has two touchdowns and an interception. I have zero clue, Pinhead. I looked at that those games, that game. Dude, guy had three rushing touchdowns. Dumps it off. That's Burke. And Burke gets the first down. Please don't speak uh, the game-winning drive into existence here. Oh, God. Here we go, Syracuse. Over the middle, that's Corey Burke again. Uh, who is everybody? I'm Nevada. Uh, I'm Coach DC. Um, Pinhead, the, the true Sims are never good. It's rough. All right, Syracuse dropping back. He fires over the middle. That time's J.J. Nelson. And all of a sudden, Georgia Tech can't stop for shit. Syracuse. Up over the middle. A toss now, McCluster, he stiff arms a man, gets a first down. Can Syracuse punch it in? McCluster. Yeah, you could have won the game. <laughs> man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, hey, check, check. Five, six, six. Ready. Black and five. Can Georgia Tech do something? Another stiff arm for Dexter McCluster. My God. That's good for a gain of eight yards. Jack, 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 And nope, nothing. Second and goal, 36 seconds left. Man in motion. Drops back. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, incomplete. Third and goal, and all of a sudden, Georgia Tech is coming up big here. Yes, he's Buffalo. Buffalo's 0-4. They decided to only run with Arch Manning, apparently, this week. He had three rushing touchdowns. 
Syracuse, that's going to be a touchdown to Gadsden, and we have a potentially a tie ball game. Georgia Tech blows a 14-point lead here in the fourth quarter. Just like last week, another double-digit lead um, blown against Syracuse. So Syracuse is good for... Uh, Syracuse is actually pretty shit for about 58 minutes. And then they wake up. All right, let's see this Georgia Tech offense at its finest. They come out here. A little flex bone type deal. We're going to run it. Only 115 rush yards today. Yikes. He throws it, and that's an interception. Oh, God, is Georgia Tech going to chawn this in regulation? I just can't watch. Jeff Sims, what a shit throw. Oh, my God. And... Can DeAndre Wilkins, what can they do? He catches it! Oh, Corey Burke! Oh, no! 35 yards, and all of a sudden, Wayne Rooney for sure can hit this. DeAndre Wilkinson. Up the middle! J.J. Nelson drops it. Are they going to kick it to win the game? Is Georgia Tech going to choke? Or is Wayne Rooney going to just be shit and miss the kick? Wayne Rooney. The kick is up. And it is good. Syracuse wins the game. Wayne Rooney. What a pickup. And Georgia Tech blows... Yikes. So. So, also, I'm going to point out here, it looks like, um... Looks like you guys with your, uh, so 35 rushes. Okay, so it's not that split. He ran more than he passed. Okay, 29, 35 is about even. Tough loss for Georgia Tech. Alrighty, on to the next one. Next up is Navy and Old Dominion. the game. Did I pass it? Yeah, I must have passed it. Alright, Wings, if you're in here, let me know. I do not think you are. Can Navy get the upset? Marcus Mariota led Old Dominion. This is the Sickos game of the week. Yep, I do have an iPhone. Did you hear that little click? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, fuck Android. Never catch me dead with an Android. Alright, skip ahead, here we go. First quarter, nothing doing so far. So this is kind of a choke from Old Dominion, to be honest. But they add seven right away. And Navy just can't get anything going, but their defense is playing well. Second quarter, or third quarter. Big drive, Old Dominion adds a field goal. And now it looks like the brakes are coming off here for Navy a little bit. Not that impressive of a win for Old Dominion. Only winning by 18. And that was the quickest game of my life. Navy is trash. Yes, sir. Alright, let's take... Oops. Take my screenshot here. I've missed the screenshot on a few of these, but you know what? Oh well. Alrighty. It is about that time. Uh, New Mexico guy left. He saw he was 0-3, and, and he got triggered. And then he beat ne Nevada by 38, so. Alright, Ron. Heads or tails. And uh, kick or receive. And then Toledo. Heads or tails. Kick and receive. Or draft just needs to do receive or kick. <laughs> tails and kick. Okay. Pin or draft tails and kick. Same thing. We're at the glass bowl here. Everyone and their mother is cheering for Kiko. I don't think there's one person in the chat cheering for Toledo, including Giraffe. Fuck Toledo. Yeah, me too. He seemed like a good coach, but. Alright, so Toledo would like to kick. I didn't have control over Iowa State. Sorry, uh, sorry, Ron. All right, first quarter. What we got brewing here today? Another game of nothingness. Iowa State. All right, and then a quick response from Toledo. All right, Iowa State. Toledo takes the lead. Half time. Third quarter. Iowa State takes the lead back. And they go up by 10. So it's time for Toledo to do something here. Otherwise, they're going to take a fat L. And on 4th and 2, Brett Hundley incompletes a pass intended for Odell Beckham Jr. That is just tough for him there. It's a, We're going to see if they can get back into this, but it's a, currently a 10-point game. I can't watch the game, unfortunately. And Brett Hundley passes for a touchdown, adds the extra point. Two timeouts, and they're going for the onside kick. And that's going to be recovered by Iowa State. And one first down will win the game. Can Ron get a first down? He does not have Jarrell Brock. He has Juwan Harvey, who arguably is better. Run it straight up the middle for five. If Toledo holds, they'll get the ball back with about 15 seconds left at the most. Double tight, guys. Double tight. 
and it just depends on the field goal kicker. Kiko under center. He hands it off again. Juwan, and that's a first down, and Iowa State is going to walk away with a victory unless something weird happens when I sim it. Sim play. Sim play. And it's fourth and seven all of a sudden with 22 seconds left. Bro, why does this happen? All right, here we go. Iowa State's kicking it. This game loves to do stupid shit to you guys. <laughs> 13 seconds. Deaker's on the hold. Are they going to run it out? And they do decide to run it out, so they just wanted to make Ron sweat. <laughs> they wanted to make Ron sweat. And that is the game. Let's check stats for all you guys who are Kiko lovers. Brett Huntley, 19 of 40, two touchdowns, no picks, nice. Low, okay. Harvey went off. And Kiko Strong, 20 of 37, three TDs and one interception. Nicely done for Kiko Strong. And Toledo drops to one and three. Big oofs in the chat. Oh, that's his first pick? Well, you know what? At least it was to user, right? It was probably to Fuller or um or Jaquavion Tavius. So but ISU gets another win. They're gonna get overranked again, but you know what? They will take it. And who is next? Let's take a look. Next, we have SMU and TCU. Oh, boy. This is a big one. SMU, highly, highly overranked. Against TCU, who is severely, severely underranked. So, uh, TCU, or SMU coach, if you are here, let me know. Heads or tails. And we are reigning here in SMU. Do me next after TCU. I'm going in order of whatever Bear Cave says. Can Preston Stone and Bentley the... What is it? The 6th or is that the 4th? Um, we got rain, so we're into it for a wild football game, it looks like. Kick. Can SMU continue greatness? And they add three points. A tough first quarter. Both teams are just feeling each other out. And bam, SMU strikes. And then TCU responds. And they kick a field goal before half. See, that's what you use the kicking game for. 45 yards from K Hart. Kevin Hart. Nice. SMU should have cut the football after the death penalty. Oh, boy. Third quarter. Boom! A big touchdown. But SMU responds. Oh, SMU! My God. And this isn't good looking good for Memphis. Oh, man. SMU is taking these kids to church. And that is it for SMU. SMU will move to 5-0. and They just smacked them. Stone went three touchdowns. And then rushing uh, Bentley, who is in the Heisman race right now, has 216 yards and two touchdowns. Holy smokes. That kid might win the Heisman. 74 SDSU, 75. TCU dog water ass offense. SMU said we ain't overrated. Yeah. 
wild. They just shit in the Christian kids' mouths. That was wild. Well, TCU, I'm not worried about you anymore. You're on my schedule later in the year. SMU, player of the week. And honestly, how does Preston Stone get player of the week over Bentley at 200 rushing yards? Fuck this game, man. It, like, only gives only gives um, QBs player of the week, but then it only gives running backs Heismans. All right, and that leads us to... Uh, Looks like it leading us to Notre Dame and Purdue, I believe, yeah. Notre Dame and Purdue. Here we go. Can Purdue pull off some craziness? Mango, if you are here, let me know. If you want to receive or kick, if you win the toss. I know Coach ND is not here. Um, Notre Dame, they're a very unimpressive 3-0 to me. So I'm hoping that Purdue kind of goes crazy here. Train siding choo-choo, motherfuckers. Let's go, Purdue. Flame had a hyped video today. so Or yesterday, I guess. Huge pretender. Yeah, Notre Dame does not look as good as their ranking says. And they are going to kick it. And we are simming. And my game crashed. So, it looks like Purdue and Notre Dame will have to be simmed, unfortunately. And we learned that a few weeks ago. If the game crashes, I have to just... I have to just sim that game, so... Okay, hold on, I gotta, gotta kill my games here. You guys are probably hearing a bunch of beeping. Yeah, I know, boo, boo, boo. Well, it's just kind of how it works. Um, yeah, sometimes if the, if the game crashes on a certain game when I super sim, I'm not gonna be able to do, to super sim it, so... We could watch it, or I can just sim it, so I'm just going to sim it. So. I'm going to look for a fix for, um, for the crashing on certain games, but that's the third game all season that that's happened on, so... I'm not really worried about it. And this is version 18. This isn't version 19. Okay, so... Take your predictions now. Time to sim it. Three. And this is the in-game game day. And Notre Dame wins on a last second field goal. They would have lost had they missed the 42 yarder. So nice game there for for Purdue. They almost did it. And then we can take a look at the stats real quick. So yeah, Nebraska or Notre Dame is just kind of mid, honestly. Tyree had a good game. Alan Hearns had touchdown, baby. Bibbins and Landry didn't do shit. All right, so that leads us into our last game of yeah, they're a massive contender. This this is time, boys. Game we've all been waiting for. Florida State, if you are here, let me know. Um, no, I can look at it. I can look at it. Hold on. It said Notre Dame red zone performance. Red zone, they had three trips, one touchdown, one field goal. So pretty, pretty terrible. 
FSU by 14. Tails. Well, you got to pick receive or um, or kick because you're not going to be picking heads or tails. It's a, that's an away team. Oh boy. All right, we're going to see Houston here, the Heisman front runner. He has Bentley right on his back. He needs a big game against Florida State. And can Florida State, in the rain, prove the haters wrong? Oh, man. Raining in Tallahassee. Huge game. Massive playoff implications. Massive ACC implications, especially with Clemson losing today. Let's see what we got going here. He wants the ball. He's going to score. Unfortunately, you don't even get to choose. You're going to get the ball anyways. And here we go. Gonna skip ahead quarter by quarter. And a quick touchdown for Florida State. And NC State responds with a field goal. Low-scoring game, surprisingly, considering how these two teams play. But NC State scores quick, and they score quickly again. Oh, man. Florida State now shivering in his boots. Bam, quick response. We got a game cooking here, boys. Oh, shit. Just as I was saying that, NC State goes up by two scores, and they win the ball game. Or wait, no, we still have a whole quarter. What am I doing? I was like, did I just sim the whole thing? Nothing's happening, though. Are we going to get an NC State? Oh, dear Lord. This is just, this is just a massacre. And that's the game. Oh, boy. Braxton Miller, 21 of 45. Two picks, though. 46 completion percentage. Just not what you need out of him. Running the ball. They didn't run it at all. Oy. And let's check NC State. They had two players go over 100 yards. Rushing-wise, Houston, 153. No touchdowns, though. So no touchdowns. He might be falling. And three touchdowns and three interceptions for Devin Leary. My God. This is a turnover fest here in the rain. And just like that, I believe... It is almost time for game day. Oh, damn it. I did not get the... Whatever. Alright, just before we end this stream... Alright, we got South Carolina... Obviously, the game of the week. Alrighty, so one game to go. And before we do game day, let's preview next week. Luckily, Temple should be unranked for our game. Um, Auburn and San Diego State, that's going to be a big one. Texas Tech and Iowa State, another big game. Memphis and Rice. Rice killed Oregon State. Miami and North Carolina. That will be a good one. Texas and Notre Dame. You think this is a good one? Doesn't seem like that much. Tennessee and Georgia, definitely a candidate for game day. Florida State and Maryland. Georgia Tech and NC State. Poor, poor Coach Mike.
Cody Green takes on Ohio State for the first time. This is the shit bowl, Nebraska and Kansas. And that's it, yeah, so... I mean, had Georgia Tech won, they might have had a chance on game day, but it's most likely going to be Georgia and Tennessee for sure. Uh, we'll see. Can't guarantee anything. We don't know how these games are going to go. But with that, uh, that ends the Bear Cave stream, guys. Thanks for joining in. I'm going to eat my dinner, um, and hopefully we'll be back here shortly. So I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching.